All right, folks, so I installed the Mantec tire carrier, and there are two rivets up here that you have to drill out on the top part of your tub, and I drilled it out to fit a 13 millimeter bolt. Actually, uh, it's a 13 millimeter head bolt, so it's a little smaller than that. Make sure you get the, the right size drill bit so that it's only just a hair bigger than the bolt. That'll add to the strength of everything. And then down here, there are, they were already the exact holes that I needed on this rear cross member. Uh, so it was one up here, one there, then one there, and one underneath, right there. So instead of paying big money for some polished stainless steel bolts, I just bought some regular stainless steel bolts, that, they're carriage bolts, and they had all those numbers on the top and I just took a file and sanded them down just to give it a little bit of a better look. And my thoughts are that if you don't have more surface area for water to collect, less likely for it to get surface rust. So I, I uh, put, the, put in the bottom one first, then the top one without the carrier. I did the same thing to stainless steel bolts for the, the top and the bottom pivots. Over here, uh, this, this is a brand new door. It's a brand new Puma door. I went ahead and uh, bolted it on with the bolts that came with it. Uh, here is the locking nut and the jam nut. And I'm gonna show you how this is working on the inside. As you open it up, I don't know if you can see that, there is a piston that's extending. And there it's retracting. On the inside, it comes with these pretty big washers. They're the two washers that I use for the top and the same size washers underneath the back. Now, one of these bolts, this one over here, you could use the really long one that comes with it, but I found that it was a lot longer than necessary. The one that came with it uh, was just under four inches long and it really only needed to be like three. If not, I was gonna have a really large bolt protruding. So I was able to get a really small wrench in behind that top hole that you're seeing there in the middle of your screen and, and uh, secure the, the, the nylon lock nut behind it. So no other bolts protruding there on the back side. And uh, now I'm gonna put on the tire. All right, so one thing I forgot is that when I went to go ahead and put this other rim on the, the tire was hitting this area here. Well, the kit comes with these three uh, hexagon spacers. And uh, so we'll be putting them on there and then that'll give you a little bit, little bit more space. All right, so these are threaded. I, at first, when I first looked at them in the bag, I thought they just kind of popped on, but they are threaded. And they thread on there and now they give you just the right amount of space for you to be able to put your nice sawtooth rim, or any rim really with a tire that might hit on there. And you still have plenty of thread to put in your nuts. All right, so the tire's on. Those little spacers back there really helped. It would almost help to have a second one because the tire is pressing up against the bracket just a little bit. But, it fits on there nice. Looks fantastic. All right. I got this at UK Auto, uh, contact Art over there. I'll put the link below. And uh, there you go, opens up. I'll show you how, how much it clears on this side just clears and uh, don't forget you definitely want to always have this limiting strap right here or else your door will open up a little bit too much and it might crush this light and you don't want that other than that thanks for watching see you later